Well, this is unexpected. This isn't the guy who owes us money. You sure you tricked the house thoroughly? All right. You. What's your name? Are you a sister? <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you have no idea how deep you're in right now. See, your brother took some money from me. A lot. And he was supposed to pay it back. Funny how he runs off and leaves you here to take the fall. It doesn't matter what you did or did not know, sweetie. You can't just take money from the mob and expect them not to come calling. That's right, sweetheart. Afraid your brother has pissed off the head of the city's mafia. Which means that you're the collateral. Alrighty then. It seems you're not entirely getting it, so let me spell it out for you. Unless your brother comes up with the money, you're going to be staying here with me. You're mine now. <laughs> if you want someone to blame, I'm not the right person. Anyways, it won't be so bad, as long as you keep your mouth shut and don't piss off any of the other members. Get Larissa. Have her get a guest room ready. What? You think I was going to throw you in a dungeon or something? Come on, sweetheart. I'm a mobster, not a ruthless killer. You're safe here. Just do what you're told and try not to escape. Because if you do, I won't be so nice. As long as your brother owes me this money, you're mine. Might as well make things easier for yourself. I'm Jameson. I run this crew. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not surprised. We try to keep things on the down low. Guys have gotten better at stopping mobsters these days. But my old man... He paid his taxes, keep up his clean-cut image, and the cops couldn't touch him. Lord knows they tried. Well, of course. It's a family business, isn't it? Who else better to run it than me? I was raised for this. Look, sweetheart, there's nothing you can say to get yourself out of this. Unless you've got a whole lot of cash in your wallet right now. How much? Oh, not much, just a measly hundred grand. I don't know, maybe he has a gambling problem. How the hell should I know? All I know is, he borrowed money, he's supposed to pay it back. And until I get my hands on him, you're on the hook for it. If he doesn't show up? Huh. Well, that would be unfortunate for you then. But we'll cross that bridge if we get there. My boys can be very persuasive, and they're wonderful trackers. They'll find them. There's only so many places a man like him can hide. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. If I wanted to have my wicked way with you, I'd have done it already. Maybe you don't think too highly of mobsters, but I'm a man of my word. No one here is going to hurt you. As long as you follow the rules. Understood? Like I said, just do as you're told and don't try to escape. Simple, right? Good. Hey, why are you holding your arm like that? No, it's not nothing. Let me see. Now. Christ, your skin is bruised pretty badly. Did one of my guys do this? <sighs> Damn it, Ray. <sighs> Guy is always smarter than he needs to be. I'll make sure to punish him for that later. I told you, no one's going to hurt you. And I meant it. Eric. Fester doc for me, will ya? And, uh, put Ray on notice. I want to see him. Tonight. Little lady, I don't care if it's just a bruise. 
it must hurt, it's red and swollen, so you're going to need some ice at the very least. Because if you don't treat things early on, things, in my experience, usually get worse. My ma got sick once when I was little, didn't want to go see the doc, and she almost died from a fever before my dad finally convinced her to go get looked at. <laughs> yeah, she was a stubborn one. Drove us crazy. When she made up her mind, there was no changing it. Ah, Doc Martens. Can you, uh, take a look at her arm? Come on, let her take a look at your arm. That's an order. Tell her the truth. It hurts, doesn't it? Well, Doc. Got it. Eric, go get some ice and some meds, will ya? Thank you. Like I said, I gave him my word. If anything, I owe you my apologies for my guys not respecting it. But from now on, you're under my protection. Anyone messes with you, they'll have to deal with me. You by chance like dogs? We have a few golden retrievers. April just had puppies, and if you want to go see them, I'm sure she will let you hold them. What? They're golden retriever puppies. You have to have a heart of stone in order to not like them. I mean, I'm all human. As soon as the puppies are running, they'll be in charge of this entire mansion, not me. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it when you see them. All six of them. Ah, perfect. Sweetheart, go with Olivia. She'll take you to your room. Think of this as a uh, house arrest. You're free to go wherever you like on the grounds, but try to escape, then I'll have to keep you in your room, okay? Good. What? You look like you want to say something, so say it, Eric. Depends. Are you talking to me as my lieutenant, or as my oldest friend? Ah, oh, come on. There's nothing going on. I know what my old man would have done. That's the exact opposite of what I want to do. He was a cruel man at the mob past. He would have broken a few of her ribs or sent her brother a few fingers. I don't want to be that type of boss. There's a difference between being strong and being tyrannical. I told you, when I was taking over, we were going to do things differently. You question my ideas now? Good. Anything else? I'm not sure. We have to recover the money or her brother. Send more people after him. You couldn't have just vanished in a thin air. I hear you, Eric, but I'm telling you, as your boss, I've got this under control. Good. I want to update in the morning. If it makes you feel better, put Olivia on the girl. But I'm telling you, I don't think she's going to cause trouble. She would have by now. Alright, fine, Mr. Worrywart. Well, if you can keep tabs on her, better? Good. Now get out of here. Is Gim going to be pissed that you're late for dinner again? She is way too good for you, dude. Go. Now get out. Before Kim finally decides to dump you, dumbass. <sighs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs>